Indian corn soup is a wholesome meal made with fresh vegetables and dry meat. Today, Diane Sines and Tim Thomas show us how easy it is to cook Indian corn soup. What do, what do we have here? <laughs> All right, we got some uh, dried uh, flint or uh, flint corn, Indian corn that okay, we've grown. The colors, okay. Yeah, and this here's a product of seven years of uh, getting it to grow here, and. This is all that we can put into it to make a meal. So you're saying that we're going to be eating this without grinding it? Yes. So how did you cook it? And I see yeah. you have a pot over here. You soak it overnight, uh, just like beans, and then uh, put it on to boil for about three to four hours until it starts to get soft. Get and soft. then you add other uh, amendments to it. You dry these on the the stock. Yeah, dry, you can or? leave them leave them on the stock, or a lot of them we we'll take off the stock, like we have in the greenhouse a drying area. We have some that we picked uh, the last couple of days that's drying in before in a, the freeze or just cause? before the freeze. Okay, very cool. So what else are we gonna add to the pot? Well, we're gonna start with uh, a chili block that has um, organic. Uh, chili powder and onions and uh, cumin and other uh, things like that. This is uh, elk meat that's been dried and cured in uh, Caribbean jerk flavor. Okay, so we have our corn, we have our dry meat, we have our chili block, and then these guys, just the vegetables, right? Yep. Car carrots and a slew of different types of bell peppers. So it's a pretty easy process. You're just soaking the corn and then chopping the vegetables and you'll come back, throw it in a pot and wait a, wait how long? A couple hours, an hour? Yeah, a couple hours, it just counts as when the dry meat starts falling apart. Got it. And uh, you make sure that the corn is nice and, and soft. Fantastic, and, and we'll get carrots. to taste this later. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's layers of flavors, but it's uh, there ain't one set process. It's just any kind of meat with your peppers and your seasonings, and yes. it's kind of like a go-to seasoner. This here's the secret uh, spice to it. It's a habanero salsa. Well, don't give it away, Tim. <laughs> it's, it's almost impossible to make, so. Okay. <laughs> Tim has shown us all you need for Indian corn soup is flint corn and your favorite vegetables. Try cooking this soup with local produce and meats. Experiment with new ingredients for unique flavor combinations.